After losing his legs in a farm accident, a former professional snowcross racer is on the road to recovery. Tonight, WC Sales' John Lordson shows us how Travis Muller turned tragedy into motivation. If I were to live anywhere, I would probably still pick this spot. Growing up near the town of Wyndham, Travis Muller always knew the life he wanted was in his own backyard. Our farm size is just a little less than 3,000 acres. The countryside gave him the space to become a professional snowcross racer. And when he retired from that, he focused on farming. But on September 24th, life as Travis knew it changed in an instant. Extremely quick to the point that I thought it was, I couldn't quite decide if it was a nightmare or if it was reality. And I was just doing the same thing as I always do. He was cleaning out a grain bin, getting ready for fall harvest when his legs got caught in an auger. I could feel the flighting of the auger kind of right in my in my knee. I knew right away my legs were not in good shape. I have a guy who was caught in an auger. Heard the page go out and I recognize the address. Longtime family friend Tim Hawker was one of the first EMTs to respond. Having known Travis since he was a kid made this accident different. On my way out all this stuff goes through your mind. Pulled up to the bin and looked inside and I just I saw Trav laying in the sweep auger. Tim monitored Travis's vitals while deputies and paramedics worked to free him from the auger. Travis's uncle and dad had tied their belts around his legs to stop the bleeding the best they could. Another challenge for first responders was trying to get Travis through this little door. A stretcher one fit, so they had to take him out on a tarp. Once they did, Travis was airlifted to North Memorial Medical Center in Robbinsdale. His legs were so damaged that the only option was amputation. He then spent 25 days in the hospital recovering with his wife Jasmine and his daughter Shaylee by his side. I actually held it together pretty good and even in the hospital for a long time and then it was several days later then, then some emotions came and I kind of let it all out. Emotions he never expected to have. Maybe made it more normal because I felt like Travis always knew racing snowmobiles could lead to a serious injury but he never counted on that happening on the farm <laughs> is that my life was so good before and it still is with his family's help Travis has made progress he's already operating some equipment on his own Prosthetics are in his future. How are you yeah. doing, though? But his friends know it won't be long before he's back to doing <laughs> what he loves. He's going to go places. He's going to do really well. Believe in God and that he can do really good things, even if bad things get thrown your way. In Cottonwood County, John Lordson, WCCO News. Hi, Travis will likely have the new prosthetics in the coming weeks. And he wants to thank everyone who helped him that day, including his family, law enforcement, paramedics, and doctors.